today, the 80th anniversary of the SS City of Milwaukee, and our grand opening of the Coast Guard Cutter Acacia. We're so proud today to have you here and proud to share our vessels with you. Uh, I just uh, want to thank a few people. Uh, first one would be the Frank T. Foster Trust. Uh, Mr. Foster's not here with us today, but um, uh, yes, he is. <laughs> <laughs> Um, for all the wonderful things that he's been able to do for us in the ships and uh, it has been a pleasure working with them and also I want to thank our board who works tirelessly to to make sure that things get done and also for our staff who has put countless hours in just above and beyond even when they're not supposed to be here they come in and do things for us so thank you to them um, I want to tell a little bit about what's going on right now. We've got a new painting project going on on the city of Milwaukee. Uh, the Foster Foundation is, has donated $10,000 to make sure that we can get her painted up and looking beautiful for everyone in the community. And uh, the, the painting project has started, so if you walk through the boat, please uh, look around and see the, the changes in the paint. And the hull actually will be getting painted very shortly. We just are getting a new barge and we'll be taking care of that hopefully before the end of the summer. We're very excited about that. Um, and also we're now discussing some new spaces to uh, do some restoration. Maybe in the dining room, getting some electrical work done, getting the F pilot house finished and uh, doing a little restoration work in the galley and uh, getting it look, looking like it back in the 1930s. So, so it should be some good projects to get completed. Um, and I really don't want to talk too much here, but so I'm gonna hand this over to Mayor Mack and he is gonna speak here for a moment. So, Mayor. Thank you and good morning. Uh, when I was asked to speak uh, about the uh, uh, dedication today, uh, I thought back on some of the things uh, that have happened in Manistee, uh, especially with the SS City of Milwaukee. Uh, Manistee has a rich maritime history. Uh, I remember back uh, in, in reading in some of the museum articles about the, the early days of the lumbermen in the city of Manistee and how they actually built Manistee, cut logs and floated them down the, the rivers and into the Manistee Lake. And then, if you look back at the old pictures, the old wooden ships that were coming in to start hauling that lumber, and then crossing Lake Michigan in the very treacherous weathers, and still being able to get their cargo across to Chicago and so forth. And then, uh, as that uh, evolved, uh, we started to get into uh, the ships that we have today that uh, still are coming into Manistee's port, uh, delivering coal uh, to the factories to keep the employees working in Manistee. And one of the things that co kind of coincides with this is uh, to show the city's involvement uh, is just recently, and along with the United States Coast Guard, uh, the dedication of the lighthouse, which is an icon uh, in, in Manistee, the, the Fifth Avenue Lighthouse. Uh, so that'll be also restored. This is a huge restoration project that was undertaken by the Preservation Society. Uh, controversial at times, uh, I first came on council when when uh, this boat was being moved uh, from Frankfurt, and I know some people that were on that ship. Uh, its ties to Manistee are not only uh, that it's a great uh, uh, asset to the community to have it here and to take up this area, but Manistee has a long tendency of, of shipping by rail. Now, I'm sure that over the years, the products that were produced in the facilities here at Morton Salt, uh, Martin Marietta and Packaging Corporation, were put on probably the city of Milwaukee at one time and transported around the world. So it's a great thing uh, and, and we're very glad. I'm thankful for all the people that were involved in the restoration. I remember when it first came here what it looked like and it's definitely uh, uh, coming about uh, with the museum that you have. Uh, a lot of hard work and dedication and my hat's off to you. Now going to the Acacia, I think that that also has a very important part for our community. Uh, thinking back of what has happened in Manistee, we have become a large fishing port. So with that said, Manistee depends on the Coast Guard to be here in Manistee to assist us, not only in our fishing, but in our, our ships that are coming up the river and into the Manistee Lake. Uh, we were able to work with the United States government, and sometimes that's very hard, but the community to show their hardship and the, and the things that they get involved with. 
when the United States government was talking about closing Coast Guard Manistee, the citizens of Manistee got an effort together, went to Washington, and through their stronghold was able to not only keep the Coast Guard in Manistee, but build a brand new uh, state-of-the-art uh, station for those men. And I applaud you gentlemen for being here today. Uh, we have a great relationship with them here in the community. And so uh, this is, with the dedication and grand opening today of the Acacia, a very important fa fact for the city of Manistee and for the Preservation Society to take on another huge project. And I look forward to uh, going aboard and seeing that. Uh, once again, I want to thank the uh, members of the society for all your hard work. Uh, you've come a long way. Uh, the city is, is here to help you. We've helped you before in writing grants. Uh, and so I appreciate all of you coming out and thank you very much and enjoy your day. I'd now like to introduce Jenny Pelton. She's a, a mover and shaker here in town <laughs> and she has been very supportive of our, our project here. So here's Jenny. Good morning, everyone. Um, I represent the Manistee Area Chamber of Commerce. We are the business link uh, for your community, and we are thrilled and honored to be part of this dedication today, the 80th anniversary of the City of Milwaukee and the Acacia's dedication. Um, every time I'm involved with um, a group of people that volunteer to keep something going, it's always moving, but since I've developed a relationship with Linda and this city of Milwaukee, I've been impressed by the dedication of the Preservation Society here. I don't know if I've ever seen people more committed to a cause than all of you. I, I think it's just extremely noble of you to keep something so important in our community. It draws visitors, it helps our economy because people come here specifically for this event. And we, um, we toast you from the Chamber of Commerce and we will continue to support you in everything you do and I again congratulate you from the Chamber of Commerce for this accomplishment today. We're going to have the Mayor and Jenny cut the ribbon now and then right afterwards uh, we're going to blow the whistle on the acacia and we're going to hope very much that our beautiful 80 year old ship is up to blowing her whistle. So <laughs> we will give it a try. So here's the scissors, and here one of you can have the real scissors. I, however, 